Among so many companies with different prices, how do you make sure that a stock is worth the price it is being traded at? How do you find the actual price of a stock instead of the hyped up or the undervalued market price? If a stock is expensive, does that mean it's a good company? Oh, this one's cheap. But what if the company is not that good? Well, there is a way to find out. It's called fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis is the process of evaluating a company's true worth by lifting its hood and looking into its financial statements, business models, industry trends, and even its CEO. Yeah, that's actually really important. Take IDFC First Bank, for example. This is similar to, um, say, picking what to eat for dinner. You can either choose a restaurant with the longest line that will be like following the crowd and market trends. That's technical analysis, by the way. Or you can check the dishes, their price, their ratings and reviews. Basically, you research before deciding. That's fundamental analysis. To perform fundamental analysis, we primarily focus on two factors, qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative factors include the company's leadership, its competitive edge in the market and the overall market conditions. Quantitative factors, on the other hand, include the company's profits, debts, assets and cash flow. For qualitative analysis, you can just conduct a market research. But for quantitative analysis, you need to check the company's annual report where we can find the balance sheet, the PL statement and the cash flow statement. But these documents usually include a lot of numbers. It's like you're suddenly hit by a flood of numbers. To avoid that, some people prefer financial ratios instead. Now, financial ratios take out different values from these sheets and give you a number, which you can compare with the industry benchmarks to arrive at a decision. There are multiple ratios which are used to measure different aspects of a company, which we'll discuss in the upcoming videos. For now, all you need to understand is that fundamental analysis allows you to build a portfolio of a company based on verified facts and not because someone asked you to do so. In the next video, we'll learn how to read the annual report of a company. Oh, that also reminds me, we're actually going to create a full-fledged playlist about fundamental analysis. This playlist will include everything from reading financial statements to analyzing different financial ratios. And don't worry, we will make it as beginner friendly and less complicated as possible. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss out on these updates. And I'll see you guys next time. Investments in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.